Hey guys, so for this lesson, we're going to be modeling a mixed number in expanded form and on a place value chart. Okay, so taking a look at my number that I have here, I know that anything to the left of my decimal is a whole number, and then anything to the right of my decimal is a fraction. Okay, so taking a look at the left side of my decimal, that number is 378. Now taking a look at the right of my decimal, I know that the first spot is my tenths place and the second spot is my hundredths place, but I can look at them together and say that this is 73 hundredths. So all together, my number is 378 and 73 hundredths. Now, if I wanted to model this with place value disks, That's where I draw circles with the values inside. So for example, I have three hundreds. So I would draw a hundred, that's one. Another hundred, that's two. Another hundred, that's three. So I'm showing that I have three hundreds. Now I would look at my next place. My next place is my tens place. So I have seven of them. So I would do, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. Okay, my next place is my ones. So I'm gonna make eight of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? Now I have a seven in my tenths place. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then last place is my hundredths place. So I'm going to draw three of those. Okay, and then that's how I would model it with place value this because I'm showing however many are in that place value. So this is a hundred place value and there's three of them. So I have a hundred three times. A seven in my 10, so I have 10 seven times. Eight in my one, so I have one eight times. A seven in my 10, so I have a 10th seven times. And a three in my hundred, so I have a hundred three times. Now, if I wanted to model this in unit form, Unit form is when you write the number and then write out the unit in word form. So, for example, I would say, hmm, I have a three in my hundred, so I would write the number three and then write the word hundred. So, three hundreds, seven tens, eight, ones, seven, tens. And here's why it's extremely important to remember that anything in decimal or to the right of the decimal has the TH at the end because that's going to differentiate the tens and the tens. So seven tens and then three hundredths with the th at the end okay now if i wanted to model this on a place value chart okay i would so typically you'd write something like ones, tens, hundreds, right? That's something that we were used to, but now we're using decimals, so I'd add a small column here, 
put my decimal, and then I'd write my two place is to the right of the decimal. So here I would have tenths, and here I would have hundredths. And then I could just plug my numbers on that place value chart. So I had 378 decimal, and then a seven in my tenths, a three in my hundredths. So then the last thing is expanded form. Now expanded form, okay, is expanding means to like draw, right, to make it longer. So we're going to say, hmm, I have a three in my hundreds place. So this is three times 100. Okay, plus a seven in my tens, so seven times 10. Okay, plus an eight in my ones, so plus eight times one, plus the decimal just comes down, but then we have a seven in my tens place. So seven, times one tenth plus a three in my hundredth place, so three times one hundred. Okay? Now, this would equal 300. So this would equal 300 plus 70 plus 8 plus 7 tenths plus 3 hundredths. And then when you equal it, you're going to write your number in a fraction form. So we're going to say uh, 378, that's my whole number, and then 73 hundredths. Okay, if we wanted to, well, we already have it here in a decimal, but if we wanted to change the expanded form as a decimal, instead of saying seven times one tenth, we could say seven times the one tenth as a decimal is 0 0.1. And the one hundredth as a decimal would be three times 0 0.01. Um, but either way, it's fine. 